In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up proxy chains on your Windows machine. Let's get right into this. So in the last video we did, we took a look at how you can set up proxy chains on your Linux machine. And setting this up on Windows is a little bit tricky, but I'll show you how to do this. Let's do a quick recap on what proxies are and why you might want to use them. So a proxy is just a middleman between you and a server. So you might want to request information from a website and all you need to do is request the information from the website. The website responds back with the information you need and you get what you need. So let's imagine this website here is google.com and you don't want to request for google.com directly because you do not want Google to know your identity. What you can do is request for google.com through a middleman. So you send your request and this guy sends your request for you and Google responds to this middleman, which is the proxy and it gives you the response. So that's what proxies are and proxy chains is just the idea of using multiple proxies. So multiple middlemen. So let's say you have one, two, three middlemen. So you send your request to this guy and it sends to this guy and it sends to this guy and this guy sends your request to google.com. Then Google sends the response. Let me change my arrow. Sends the response back and thinks this is the, server, this is the device that requested for information. And this guy forwards it to this and for this device before it finally gets to you. So this is the idea behind proxy chaining. And it's going to be very difficult for people to know or for the um, final server to know where the request came from. So the server is going to think it came from this device. And these people that check this device will think it came from this device and so on and so forth. So that's the idea behind proxy chaining is just hiding yourself behind multiple devices. And I'll show you how to set this up on your Windows machine. There are different options available to you. There are free and paid options. And the best option for proxy chaining is using the Tor service. Tor itself is a proxy chain. It goes through multiple nodes to request what you need. And that is what a proxy chain does. But if you want to set up your own manual proxy chains, you might want to use a different service. So there is an application here on GitHub proxy chains dash windows you can use. Um, there is a paid application called Proxifier and another one called Proxy Cap. So you can use any of these services to set up your own manual proxy chains. I'll be demonstrating with this one and you can go to releases here and get the one you want. So after you download this and unzip it, you have all these files in your directory. So let's take a look at the instructions here. So let's scroll down. And like it says here, you might want to copy the exe files to your path variable, but we'll be configuring it directly here. So what you want to do first is open this proxychains.conf file, which I have open here. And let's take a look at this. So this does not support dynamic chain at the moment. And dynamic chain is just the idea of going through all the proxies on your list. And if one proxy is dead, for example, if this proxy is dead, it's going to skip this proxy and go to the next one. So that's what dynamic chain does. So let's take a look at this. Let's go back to this. So this application only allows strict chain for the moment and random chain is not supported as well. But if you are sure your proxies are working, then strict chain is fine. Always remember to have this active as you don't want your DNS data to leak. So let's scroll down and see the options for setting our proxy. So it's the same way you set this up in your Linux machine. You have the proxy type, you have the server, the ports, the username and password if necessary. So I have a proxy server set up here and let's go into our terminal to um, activate this. So the code you want to use is proxy chains 
exe that's this file here you can rename this to proxy chains so that can be easy for you then you want to specify the configuration file but with the f um, option dash f that's this file here if you add this file to your environment variables you do not need to specify it but i've not added this to my environment variable so i'm specifying it here then you can open any application you want to open with your proxy. So let's open Firefox with our proxy. And let's put in DNS leak test. So let's go back to our terminal and let's see what's going on. So this is trying to connect to DNS leak test with the proxy we set up here. That's this here. And the website has loaded. And we have our address here, and we are successfully browsing the internet via this proxy. So that's how to set up proxy chains on Windows. If you have a multiple proxy, you can put them here and just chain them. So that's how you set this up on Windows. Some other options you might want to check out is Proxifier. Um, this has a GUI option. You can just list out your proxies and proxy cap as well. You can just list out your proxies. And if you want to do this manually, you can always use this code right here. So this is a very useful application um, you can use to set up proxy chains on Windows. If you need a more reliable service to bypass censorship or browse the internet privately, you can check out Hailbyte SOX5 proxy on AWS, or you can check out Hailbyte VPN on AWS. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you are having a great day. I'll see you in another video.